Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with meteorologist Matt Scott. Good to have you along on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Matt Scott. And boy, after another round of heavy rain yesterday, this summer has just been strange. Am I right, people? Hot and humid today. A little smoke from the Canadian wildfires still. Rain back in play tomorrow. And then uh, we have potential for a little less in a way humidity. Uh, second half of the week. My goodness, we get a lot of rain yesterday. One to three inches across the board where you see these light shades of purple. Uh, four, even five inches of rain. It was too much. And that's why we have continue to have flood problems around here. Waterbury clocking in with four and a half, four in Plain, Plainfield. And there was no escaping this. If you're on the shoreline like New Haven, Guilford, you got into this, Hartford, about two and a half inches of rain. So here's the chance of rain for today. It's finally get a break. Uh, but it comes back tomorrow afternoon for a brief spell. We'll talk about that in a second. One of the reasons that we have uh, slightly improving humidity, we hope, is we have a northwesterly wind. It's not, it's, the humidity is terrible this morning, but there are indications it might be a little better trying to work in at least into the northern part of the state. Unfortunately, a southwesterly flow takes over. Uh, we don't have anything to worry about today. We got a front coming in tomorrow, and as that interacts with the juiced up air, it will fire off a couple of showers and thunderstorms. In the meantime, look at a high temperatures for today. 90s just about everywhere, but you can see there's this dip right here. And that's that cooler Canadian air trying to work its way in. In the meantime, any part of the country that doesn't get it is looking at the potential of record highs today and tomorrow. The numbers are crazy hot. High humidity doesn't help. Dress for 90, excuse me, uh, prepare for 90. Dress for the mid 90s. We're dry today. There's that southerly flow. Tomorrow, a couple of storms firing up in the afternoon and potentially into the early evening. I know it doesn't look like much, but where the rain does come, some of these thunderstorms may get strong quickly, possibly even severe. Now, the good news is this is not a big window. We're talking about, you know, like four to nine o'clock. That's good because these cells won't last. If you have rain that's gonna linger, you're gonna add to that potential for severe weather and more flash flooding. I don't see that happening for tomorrow, we hope. Humidity stays high, oppressively tropical today, but look at the second half of the week, a little bit of a drip. A little bit of drip on Friday, but a little bit of a drop. Friday into Saturday. So there's good news there. And uh, as you look down the line, the chance of rain is going to be mainly on Tuesday and then another crack on Friday for that drip I <laughs> mentioned. Mid to upper 80s on the shoreline, go in by a couple miles, hit the low 90s. And then again, with the humidity, dress for worse. So check in on your kids if they're at camp, lots of breaks, lots of water. Check in on the elderly. Hopefully they got lots of AC. And check yourself before you wreck yourself with the, with the humidity. 91 degrees, Symphony's over there, she enjoyed that. 91 degrees, the high for today, 72 tonight. Mid to upper 80s for the next couple of days. There's that crack of rain, late Thursday, but mainly into Friday. Hopefully, we're shaking up this pattern. I like those 64s for the overnight lows, because that tells me dew point goes even lower, may actually wait for it be comfortable out there. That's a look at the forecast on this Monday. Stay with Fox 61 plus Fox61.com and our next broadcast at five and six o'clock.